In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create three curved arrow slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide looks. As you can see here, I've created uh, the first curved arrow uh, with a glossy effect, a shadow effect here. Then you can add your title, the detailed text. And if you have the icons, you can just add the icons here and the second option with some different color combination as well as the third option also. And I've created one more slide with a small uh, sizes you can see here so depending on your requirement either you can add it three four five or six so it's up to you to decide and if you're not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon so let's start the tutorial Add a new slide and change the background to light gray background then go to insert shapes from the rectangles I'm going to choose this one rectangles top corners one rounded and one sniped so I'm just going to select that shape you can see here and then you can see this two orange point the left orange point I'm just going to drag it inside you can see here this much the full this is the full then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one more shape, go to insert shapes, select the rounded corner rectangle, draw the rounded corner rectangle. You can see here a bigger than the first one and make it a somewhat, you can see here a curved. All right. Let me just increase the size further. So here it should be straight and only the top it should be curved. So let me just give some different colors so that you get the idea of what exactly I'm talking about. So here it the straight one and but here at the top it's curved. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to select this shape first, hold the shift key, select this rounded corner rectangle, merge shapes and subtract. So I end up getting a shape, something like this and shape outline, make it no outline. And I'm just going to bring it here at the top and then i'm going to add few more shapes so go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle the height and width you can change according to your requirement shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to give some white color and then just send this to back and you have to just make sure that this should not be visible from the top so you have to just align it properly all right and then I'm going to add one more shape here. Go to insert shapes and from the block arrows, I'm going to select this arrow chevron and then just draw this arrow here. And you can just increase the size so that it becomes more wider. You can see here and make sure that it is center aligned and again what we can do is we can just add few more shapes i can just add maybe a rectangle draw a rectangle all right maybe i'm going to give some dark color so that you can identify so shape outline no outline and send this to back let me just zoom in so here let me just select this align it properly all right so it looks something like this this also we have to make it no outline and then i'm going to just select this rectangle and add it at the bottom also and then just send this to back so you can see here we end up getting a shape something like this and then I'm going to give some gradient fills to this. So select this right mouse click, go to format shape and select the gradient fill. Here I'm going to use the type as radial. You can see here and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this and then just drag this the other side. You can see the white should be like this. And this one is more darker. Let me just select some lighter color or maybe this one and this one i'm making it white and you can just increase the size you can see here or i can just make it more 
lighter for this and just increase the size here something like this okay let's see how it looks the darker dark dark also it's not that great so let it be this much dark only and then what you can do is you can give some gradient fill for this also select the gradient fill and here i'm going to choose the type as linear and only two stops i'm going to make it the one stop i'm going to make it more darker go to more colors any color of your choice you can choose and here i'm going to choose some kind of an orange color two color combination you can see here and again if you want you can just adjust this one all right and the same color i'm going to apply it on this one but only thing is what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring this down and direction i'm going to make something like this and this one again i'm going to choose the orange color and bring more closer so that we end up getting a shape something or design like this you can see here and then the the blue rectangles also i'm just going to give some dark color here you can see here now if you want you can just give some anime or uh, the shadow effect here also for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate and the type i'm going to make it as a linear and here the top the black should be on the top make it black color and this one i'm going to make it a light gray color the background color and make it fully transparent and this also i can just increase the transparency level and just bring it here and then send this to back so you can see here like this you can give some shadow effect for this also you can give the same shadow effect let me give a cutout shape here go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it black increase the transparency level maybe 50 or 60 percent then go to effects soft adjust increase the size you can see here maybe let me just reduce it and move it somewhat up and then i'm just going to add one rectangle draw the rectangle you can see here this much size and shape outline make it no outline and shape fill it should be matching with the background color so it looks something like this so you can see here our one basic design is ready now it's time to add some text or some icons to it and i would like to give one glossy effect here so that go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape maybe this much size make it a little bit curved put it here shape outline no outline shape fill i'm going to make it white then go to effects soft edges increase the size you can see here how much you need so you can see here a, a glossy effect has been created now let's add some title here i'm just going to add your title center align the font i'm going to choose the same font make it bold and then you can add some detailed text here so equals lorem within brackets one and then i'm just going to delete some unwanted text again i'm going to make it a gray color reduce the font size center align and just place this here you can see here something like this and if you're using the icons you can add some icons also you can go to insert icons if you're using the latest version only then only the icons are available otherwise uh, i've provided some icons you can just download from my site so i'm just going to make it the height and width as 0.6 and then just place it here and shape outline sorry shape fill make it white all right so this is my first option so now select all by pressing ctrl a ctrl d to duplicate then just bring this down make sure that it is properly aligned 
again control D you can see here our three options are ready now it's time to just change the color depending on your requirement maybe I can just choose some dark blue color and here I'm going to choose some light blue color whichever color you feel better you can see here you can just add the color combination and then I'm just going to click it here all right sorry I should not do that one what I have to do is I've just select the first the darker color make it blue dark blue and the other i'm just going to choose the light colors here all right and then the rectangle that also it has to be a dark blue you can see here something like this and the text also you need to just change the text to dark blue color now likewise we can just change the other color also